Runaways Volume 3, that was yesterday by Rainbow Rowell and Chris Anka and Matthew Wilson, uh, is the third volume of the uh, sequel, not a reboot, of Runaways. Uh, this volume, however, was a little bit uneven for me. First off, the artwork starts off really different and cartoony. Yeah, it was super cartoony and it kind of threw me off because it wasn't Chris Anka, it was the other guy, uh, Matthew Wilson, too cartoony. However, it goes off back to... Um, yeah, being Chris Anka's art style after, which I liked. However, the plot, I didn't know this at the time, but Alex Wilder uh, came back to life in Avengers Undercover. I didn't know that. I thought he was still in limbo. So he's back, and the team doesn't trust him. They have a chip on their shoulder because uh, he shows up on their doorstep with a large dinosaur-like creature chasing them. They, they are able to fight it off. However, Nico trained with Alex for a little bit in Avengers Undercover. She does not like him, neither does half the team. However, the other half of the team are okay with him, especially Molly and Gert. And uh, we find out the plot that the children of the Gibberim are there and they want them to finish the uh, ritual that their parents never completed. They want uh, the runaways to sacrifice one life every year for 25 years to give them enough strength to consume the entire planet. So. These, the children of the Gibberum give them seven days to come up with a sacrifice and Alex is just trying to buy time. They're trying to figure out how to placate them of sorts. Uh, however, this story is very thin and light. Uh, basically, it's just a lot of arguing here and there. There's a, a little bit of action at the end, but overall, this volume of Runaways is a little bit on the light side. I didn't uh, feel like it had enough story. They were kind of stretching it along because I think it was like a six part series or whatever. And then there's volume four, But You Can't Hide, is a, another volume. Uh, this one ends on a cliffhanger, which I do not like. I do not like it when stories end in a cliffhanger. Maybe back in the day, but nowadays, if you do a cliffhanger, it's almost like you don't trust your audience to keep watching or reading. I like Runaways. I'll continue reading. You don't have to end it in the middle of a fight scene. I just don't like that at all. And um, it's basically Carolina becomes a part-time superhero uh, after she's trying to figure out what she, she doesn't really like university all that much. Uh, meanwhile, there's a new twist with Nico and the staff of one, which was an interesting thing. It's more of a setup volume. This is setting up potential storylines for the future, especially Carolina's crime fighting and Nico's staff stuff. Um, other characters come and go. So uh, they're, they're definitely setting up something. Uh, I just didn't like that this volume doesn't give you a definite, complete story. So uh, that's what I thought about the third and fourth volume of Rainbow Wall Rowell's Runaways.